Good morning, everybody. 49, you know, and welcome to Mental Health Mondays, you know. Boom. So we about to get right into it. Even if you didn't watch the Oscars last night, all the memes are going around. Everybody's seen that um, Will Smith smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. Okay, so let's, let's break this down for a second. Boom. Now, <clears throat> I don't feel... Like Will should have should have done that. Like should have smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. I don't feel like that was okay. That totally wasn't okay. However, I do understand why he did this. So let's so there's multiple layers to this, right? Now, if you ever read, if anybody out there ever read um, Will Smith's book, right? In the book, so I, I read the book. The book was actually good. You know, the theme in the book is about you know his healing process of how he wanted to heal from being a coward. He mentions several times in each of those chapters how he was a coward in each area of his life, and it started off when he was a kid when he couldn't defend his mother because his father was beating the hell out of his mother, and all stuff of how he couldn't just stand up to people and other people had to stand up for him and everything. He the theme of that book was about how he was legit a coward. Right? Boom! Check it out. So now let's fast forward. You know, he's in therapy, he's healing, and this is what, this is a clear, this is a clear example of a healing journey. Check it out. We're about to get surgical. Boom. Here we go. So now he drops the book. Now, before he drops the book, remember he had the red table talk with Jada and she was like in an entanglement and all type of shit, right? I mean, she was brutally honest on her platform. So there's, I feel like there's, I have an issue with that though. Right now, I'm not saying that. Okay, August brought it out. She wanted to address it to get her side of the story out. I feel like that was a red flag. Number one, you don't have to address shit. You you don't. You you. Sometimes in life, it's better off if you don't address anything. But Jada wanted to do it. Will's her husband. He's supportive of her. He went on the goddamn red table talk, and she was brutally honest. And that man was in tears. Y'all seen the memes? He was in tears on that goddamn show. Right. Here's the thing about that. It's okay to be honest if you want to get your spin out of how things happen and how you got into an entanglement, a cheating mint, whatever mints you got, all the mints. You want to talk about it, that's okay. What's not okay is that if you, my spouse, you can be honest, but you got to put some grace on that thing. Like Jada was tied and tacky the way you did well, tied and tacky, and I'll be the first one to say it. It was tied and tacky. You understand me? That's exactly what the hell it was. It's the truth. It's the truth. So now, there are a whole bunch of memes out about that. Like, I think people forget that celebrities are actually people, right? Like, like they're not like, you know, push button robots that, you know, that are there just to entertain us. They are actually people. Will is a sensitive guy. If you ever read that book, you would know he was dealing with some real shit. Like, he would be afraid to do things because he's been a coward his whole life. So he's working on not being a coward. Right? Everybody's healing from something. His is cowardness. Here we go. Check it out. Boom. Now let's fast forward. Everybody talking crap. Everybody got something to say. Everybody speaking on it. I'm speaking on it. We all speaking on it. You know, that that's that's a lot. The world is speaking on it. She went on her platform with millions of people and was like, hey, check it out. <laughs> I ain't even gonna admit to cheating. <laughs> you know, I know you a coward, so you ain't gonna say shit about it. You know, I was in an entanglement. That's how that comes across. I totally understand that. That's how that comes across. If you read the book, you would know. Here we go. About to get surgical again. The Oscars is watched. You know how many people watch the Oscars? Like, do do look how many people, how many views, how many viewers, how many viewers, right? So I'm not gonna hold you. The Oscar has writers. You know we all know this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna sit here and say that Chris Rock was wrong. I just feel like it was the wrong time, wrong place. It was the wrong time, wrong place. After, but I ain't gonna lie. I would really like to know if it wasn't Chris Rock, would Will Smith have had that same energy with anybody else? That's one thing I would, I would really like to know. You know what I'm saying? It's sad that that had to happen like that, but I'd really like to know that. I'd really like to know that, but that's just a sidebar for me. Anyway, it's just like, okay, now he's at this, he's at this event and they're going in on his wife. He is tired. When I say, well, Will is tired. He is tired of people talking about, him and his wife, I can only imagine the conversations they have in the house and how many times she's probably have cried and he cried and all this stuff because they're being, their marriage is being attacked. They are being attacked. He's a whole meme out here being attacked. And he's trying to do the best he can with what he got. He's trying to do the best he can with what he got. Boom, here we go. Chris Rock says what he says. 
Will gets upset, goes and smacks the shit out of him. That is that is a healing process, and I'm gonna tell you why. When you're when you're on a journey, right, to stopping to do things, and you really trying to change, like you doing your best. Old Will wouldn't have done that. Old Will wouldn't. Old Will would not have got on that stage and smacked the dog shit out of Chris Rock. No, he wouldn't have. But because he's in his healing journey, because like when you end up, when you are on a journey to heal from some shit, to change some shit, to do things differently, man, you get put in situations you'd have never thought you got. You get put in because it's like. I feel like this. The universe for me is God. I ain't gonna hold you. The universe and God, whatever you want to say, I say God. It, uh, um, when you say, "Hey, I'm, I'm I want to heal from this," and you're doing the work, you're going to get challenges. If you say, "You know what? I'm gonna work on my patience, man. I need more patience." You're gonna get put in situations where your patience is tested. If you really want it. If you really want it, if you say, okay, I want some inner peace, I want inner peace, you are going to be conflicted and tested with things. Because if you really want it, you got to work hard for it, baby. You got to work hard for that. That man is working hard to heal from being a coward. I swear to you, the book is good. I really, I really enjoyed Will's book. I did. It wasn't like a page journaling, uh, but it was just like, oh my goodness, Will. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's, it's some people that, when they read the book and they be like, wow, you know, I can see how that is. You know, I can see how, you know, he could, he could be that way. Like, it's like, wow. Like, I mean, he really, he really opened up and let loose in his book and was just like, yo, like I've been a coward my whole life. He's been a coward in his marriages, with his, with his family, all of that. And I'm not saying that's an excuse, but that's some mental shit to just, to just, to be so afraid to be yourself. To be so afraid. That's why when that time when he was him and Martin, he went on the breakfast club and he was like, he was telling people, be your authentic self. He was promoting, promoting, promoting that. He was promoting that because he was trying to be his authentic self. He and his own healing journey. That's what people don't understand. And, and sometimes when people are promoting things, they, and they, that's what, like, for me, I never sit here and tell you, like, oh, the, the stuff that I tell you, that's things that I'm going through in real life. That's real shit. That, that's. You understand what I'm saying? That's not a joke. You know what I'm saying? These ain't jokes, motherfucker. Excuse my language. Like, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. He was healing from some shit. And that's this. This, this is why you need to stop fucking with people when they're healing. Because when they're healing, and that, that, that it's a new day, motherfucker. You understand me? Somebody has arrived. He has arrived. He has arrived at not being a coward. Of the dog days are over now. Like, yes. Yes. Yeah, you know, somebody told me a joke, right? <laughs> I'm going to end it with this. Somebody told me a joke. They ain't going to say. <laughs> That's not funny. I need to stop laughing. God forgive me. All right. <laughs> oh, she going to say. She was like, Chris Rock said, after, um, after Will Smith hit Chris, smack Chris Rock, he should have been like, <laughs> Woo, now that was a hell of an entanglement. I think I'm going to feel that slap until August. Wig, that had me in tears this morning. <laughs> the jokes, the jokes, I ain't going to hold you. Well, it's going to be a lot of jokes. It's going to be a lot of jokes, but I understand. I understand why he did what he did. I totally understand. He had a mental break. That was it. That was it. He had had enough. Look at all of what that man been through. He had had enough. Now, you can't just blame Chris Rock because they do have writers. Somebody wrote that. Whoever wrote that, Chris Rock needs to slap the shit out of them. But him, he was like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. <laughs> so we, Chris, that wasn't for you, but you handled that slap well. If, if handling the slap was a person, Chris definitely handled the slap well, but I understand. I'm not going to, I don't feel like he was right for what he did. You know, but that's what happens when you're in a healing process. People don't understand. People be playing with people. And, and a lot of people forget. I, I think, I don't know, sometimes whoever wrote that joke or whatever, I feel like people who's writing the jokes or whatever, like they, pe it's hard for people to understand a celebrity being a real person because of all the resources that they, that they have at will. You know what I'm saying? Or that, or that they possess or anything like that. Like these are real people. Like these are real people. Like, and these are real people in real time dealing with real things. You know what I'm saying? And some people are better, are better able, they're able better to like, you know, hold it down and hold their stuff in and stuff like that. But no, today, yesterday was the day for Will. Yesterday was the day. That was the goddamn day. It was beautiful. The so head healing process. You know, and also I like how Denzel and Tyler Perry came to talk to him. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I I feel like, you know, his he's tired of his wife. I guess his, him and his wife are in a great place, whatever. He's tired of his wife, like, feeling some type of way and all this other stuff. He was standing up for his wife. And I people say he was standing up for his wife. I genuinely feel he was standing up for himself. I read that fucking book. Will admitted that he was a coward. He admitted it several times in the book. That this is something that he wanted to work on. Like, he was tired of being a goddamn coward. And today, and today the coward left. Not today. Yeah, last night, he left. That was it. He had enough. He had enough of people playing with his name. He had enough of people playing with his name, his wife's name. Don't make no jokes. Don't say no shit. Don't do anything. However, I feel like this. Like, you can't, because everybody going to have jokes now. So, you can't go around slapping the hell out of everybody that has that has something to say. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's that's childish or whatever, and that's not really conducive for the for the um for the healing process. However, last night was the night. Last night was the night. Period. Last night was the night. Y'all keep playing with people' mental health. Y'all keep playing. You keep playing with people. You gotta see. You gotta set. You gotta. Sometimes you gotta see what people are not saying. I feel like in that book, Will Smith let go and let have about how he was struggling with being a coward his whole life. From since from time he was a little boy to a grown ass adult, and he's just now getting like getting like on his healing journey, his healing process, a change. He don't want to be a coward anymore, and that is between him and his Jesus. However, the guy said, and he would be like always, always be your authentic self. You know what I'm saying? Like he's trying to put out so much positive messages and stuff like that because those are things that he's trying to follow. You know what I mean? Like, come on, read the book, the book. If y'all read that book, if, if, this is this is not. I'm not shocked. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, I'm shocked, but I'm not shocked. You know, I'm I'm shocked because it was like, oh shit, you just slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. But I'm not shocked because you're on this healing journey, and people keep playing with your name, and people keep playing with your wife's name. People keep playing and forgetting that y'all are real, like in real life, like y'all are human. Like if we cut you, you will bleed. So that's my take on it. Stop fucking with people's mental health. You don't know. You just don't know. For tonight, you.